Okay, the next uh, the building department um, had some changes in there. Uh, one wage related. I don't, I'm under the impression there's one wage related uh, change in there, and then I also at the end of um, September we reevaluated all of our gasoline and diesel lines. I know Rusty, you had asked about that uh, when the chief was up here. All the department heads put forward what they believe their use was. Fred and I have, or Fred has tasked myself, I guess, with verifying all of those numbers, and we have taken it upon ourselves to adjust those numbers accordingly so that we are really uh, fine-tuning those accounts and only asking for what is actually being ex um, expended on those line items and basing it all on gallons. So uh, I had adjusted the building department gasoline in line to be more in line with what they were actually purchasing for gasoline. Okay. And Mr. Chairman, I have something. Yep. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that the board approve a 5% salary adjustment to the building inspector's salary effective November 1st, 2016. I, I would like to just voice my opinion in opposition to that simply because I want to in the budget if we're going to do any salary adjustments i think they should be in the budget for next year and i think it should be discussed in that manner and not not that i don't think there needs to be an adjustment but again it's it's the same thing as before we're just making adjustments here just well i know we, we we're making adjustments but i also know that we we've, we've done some uh, we've we've asked that the um assistant town manager do some research on on what our pays are and and how they are and um, I think uh, I think we, we all realize that this position is severely below what it should be um, so I totally agree with um, what Jim has said and <clears throat> I totally agree also that he's uh, totally underpaid he does one of the best jobs that you could expect from a department head, <clears throat> but I do think it should be included in the budget. Yeah, we've reviewed uh, um, uh, Mr. Schultz's budget. We know that uh, his department cost the town virtually nothing in terms of uh, uh, the revenue base. Is that correct? Oh, yes. And uh, I think this year he's already taken in more revenue than his total budget for next year. If, if the selectmen have not uh, yes. um, kept pace with their um, uh, administrative requisites to uh, um, administrate pay issues in this town. Uh, an employee should not have to wait for six months when, uh, uh, if you if you do a little research uh, and get a grasp for the operational intensity and the complexity and the uh, $500 million that have been uh, added in, in uh, appreciating property values that all had to be coded uh, from incredibly complex uh, new construction in this town to include the brewery on the west side, the myriad uh, development projects at the beach, and nothing uh, so short is code enforcement on FOSS manufacturing. The selectmen have all received a uh, New Hampshire state uh, report and inspection on that. Go try and figure that out and do the code enforcement at FOSS manufacturing. Uh, uh, and uh, I'll buy you lunch if you can uh, decipher that. So it's an incredibly, incredibly complex, important, important job that is significantly underpaid. And kudos to uh, um, the man that runs that, Mr. Welch, and he's been Mr. Uh, Schultz. How long has he been with us? About 18 years. Uh, almost 20 years, yeah. Almost 20 years. Yeah. So uh, I uh, enthusiastically uh, support uh, the motion by Selectman Barnes. I, I agree with everything that was said, but I also agree that there are other departments that have done the same thing, that we can say the same thing. We've had, we've had uh, a, a number of uh, mediated settlements with, uh, on tax abatements and stuff. We've had, you know, increased uh, valuation of property on that. So, that, so that I, I, I agree 100% with what we're saying, but I'm saying we've got to take a look at the whole picture and, and figure this out and do it properly. That's my opinion. And I just, that's something that I've pushed for ever since the beginning of the year. And evidently we just haven't achieved what needed to be done. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? All opposed? So the building department budget uh, bottom line is $225,336. Would that, yes. that change? Yes. Yeah. So we have a motion on the building department budget. 
So uh, two two five three three six three six. So moved. Second. Oh, all does that include? That includes the yes. The change. Okay. That was all, yeah. Those opposed. 